Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, got a little quick project we're going to be doing today, and this is uh, for a viewer that sent in a, he actually was going to send some parts to me to remanufacture. He has a woodworker's vise that has two, uh, what is it, seven, eight inch diameter rods that the vise rolls back in on. There were some issues with it. He wanted to make some new ones. Um, he packed up the two rods that he had, put them in the mail to me, and uh, unfortunately, when the postal service delivered the box, uh, the box was empty. Uh, the, the rods had uh, managed to escape the box in transit, and so uh, we were kind of left hanging, but he was able to come up with a sketch, a little drawing of what we needed. It's a fairly simple part, um, and so we're just going to work off of the drawing rather than trying to, to copy what was originally there. Uh, like I said, it's fairly straightforward. Basically, it's a 7 8 inch rod that it rides on. Need to cut it to length, uh, face both ends. One end gets turned down to 3 quarter inches for about an inch and a quarter, and then that gets threaded uh, for a nut to go up on. I got a piece of 7 8 inch rod here, and we're going to cut this to length and then head over to the lathe and we will get those parts cut out. I think I said they were 18 inches long or actually 16 inches long. So I'm going to put a mark here. Just use my little portable battery powered bandsaw here. This thing works like a charm. We're over here at the lathe. I'm going to start by just uh, facing both ends of this. Get our saw marks out of there. All right, we'll come in here, touch off on that, and just face across it. Square it up. I think I need to take just a little bit more. Didn't quite clean up there. I think that got it. Change tools, we'll come in here and just put a little uh, chamfer on there just enough to break that edge. Flip our part around. Need about an inch and a quarter stick out on that, so I don't want to stick it out any farther than I have to. Give me some room up there around the chuck. Face off this side. an inch and a quarter. I'm just going to come in here and make a mark. That looks good. Now we should be at 875. We're going down to three quarter, which is 750. So we got 125,000 to take off. Come in here, we'll touch off. And we'll take a hundred thou on this first pass. Total off for total metal, fifty thousandths cut. Right, let's let it roll down through there. And I need to take a total of 12 thou off to get to where I need to be. And we're right on the money. I think I got room here right up next to the chuck, but go ahead and just break that edge. Since we're going to thread this, I'm just going to put a chamfer on here with my threading tool so it has the right angle on it. 
and I'm going to do a fairly coarse chamfer on there, and that'll give me a nice lead in for my threads. And touch off here with my threading insert. I'm going to zero my cross slide, get my thread set up here. This is going to be a C. We're going to be threading this at three quarter ten, so let me get my blade set up in the right gears. See, I only want to thread this halfway down, so we're going to thread down to about right there. Should be set up here. We'll wait for a number to come bound. And we will engage, do a scratch pass. And verify that we got our pitch right, which this is three quarter ten. So let me get my ten pitch gauge out here, and that looks like it's right on the money. All right, we're going to single point thread these. All right, we're getting ready to start single point threading here. And I always get lots of questions from folks every time I do this, so I thought I'd just go ahead and address this with a little voiceover while I'm while I'm doing this. So. I've got my machine set up, as we said, for 10 threads per inch, and the compound is set to 29 and a half degrees, which is uh, the same angle as the back side of that cutter. And each pass, I'm feeding it in. In this case, it's about 10 thousandths per pass. As I get deeper in, I'll cut it down to about 5 thousandths per pass. And uh, in this threading mode, there's a half nut. There's a lead screw that's constantly turning. It is synchronized with the chuck. And by looking at a little meter, uh, over there that's rotating around, I can engage that half nut at just the right time to make it go down the exact same track each time. And again, how I have it set on the lathe determines at the speed that it's going to be going to give me the different thread pitches that I need for threading. Uh, it looks fairly complicated until you've done it a few times. Once you've uh, done a little bit of threading, it's really pretty easy and straightforward. It doesn't really take all that much effort. Uh, but it is intimidating to a beginner. And one thing that I would encourage you is if you've got a lathe and you want to do it, just get out there and put a piece of scrap metal in the machine and just start practicing, playing around with it. I've got plenty of videos where I go through in much greater detail than I am right now uh, telling how to do this, as well as many other people out there on YouTube. And uh, this is something if you're going to run a metal lathe, you really do need to know how to thread on it. It's, uh, it's pretty pretty straightforward, pretty easy, and it is something that you will find yourself doing uh, rather often using the metal aid. So and while I'm doing this, uh, I typically will just try to get down until I start to see a point form at the top of that thread, and that tells me I'm about finished. And look at there. It's like a glove. Just what we want. Just gonna take a little emery cloth here and just kind of take any burrs off the tops of those threads. Sometimes it'll leave a little sharp edge on there. You don't want to cut anybody or cut yourself. And with that, this job is done. Well, there you go, guys. A couple of ice rods made. Made the other one off camera. I'm gonna get these uh, packaged up and ship back and uh, hopefully we can uh, manage to get them there without the postal service losing them this time. <laughs> Can't tell you how many times that's happened to me here lately. People will ship stuff and uh, it doesn't get to where it's supposed to be. And guys, all I can say is package stuff good because uh, it doesn't do well <laughs> in transit, unfortunately. It's a sad situation, but that's where we are. And uh, But anyway, hopefully these will make it back and he can get these back on his vice and he'll be back in business. And with that, that's going to be a wrap. As always, thanks guys for watching. Uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that little bell icon if you haven't. That way you get a notification uh, whenever a new video is posted from my channel. Otherwise, you may or may not see it the way YouTube does things. And uh, guys, uh, comments are appreciated, as are those thumbs up. And we will see you next time around.